According to Twitter user Transcendent, they are literally still waiting for the hashtag Ask Troy that at Troy Sivan did like three or four months ago. I have an explanation. I started asking you guys to ask me questions and then I accidentally made brownies. And then sneaky you guys decided to band together against me. Ava said, why don't we just start hashtag Ask Troy and then you'll have no choice. Well, Ava, it worked. Here we go. What was it like having to play a sexually successful straight guy in the Spud films? It was weird. I mean, I have, believe it or not, actually kissed more girls in my life than I have boys. I think it's never not weird to kiss someone on camera in front of like 50 other people. You do it a bunch of times. You have to stop halfway through because they need to fix like a light. Maybe there was one time where one of you used too much tongue. I don't know. That's not from personal experience. Whatever the case, it kind of feels more just like you're like rubbing faces together in front of 50 people. Like it doesn't necessarily feel like a kiss. If you'll do it, and ask Troy while I'm sleeping. I'm gonna cut your nipples off and make you eat them. Love you, have a great day. We have a really, really good relationship, my fans and I. Where do you find the music to add to your Spotify playlist? I follow a bunch of music blogs. I have friends with great music taste. Two music blogs that I would like to recommend are hillydilly.com, Neon Gold. Just really, really good pop. Hashtag Ask Troy, how is it recording slash working with Zed and do you like pineapple? I love pineapple and working with Zed was awesome. I actually found the other day, I was looking on my hard drive and I found footage, Paper Cut wasn't out yet and I wasn't allowed to tell you guys about it and I was just jamming out super, super hardcore in my room. Fun fact though, Zed and I have never actually met. We text and we've spoken on the phone, but I just went into the studio one day and recorded the vocal and left and that was it. Have you ever felt awkward posing for photos? 100%, yes, 1000%. I tend to just like immediately, as soon as I'm out of my comfort zone, just like touch my face a lot. Like, Cause I just wanna look good, clear, good, clear. Oh. But then it just looks like I'm smelling my fingers cause I'm like, oh, I just wanna look good. <laughs> That's really awkward. How do you feel about equal marriage rights in the US? As a young LGBT person, I would just like to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has ever, ever fought for this cause because my life as an LGBT person who doesn't even live in America, but I just know that this is gonna have kind of like a knock-on effect. This is a huge, huge, huge step. From my point of view, I just wanna say thank you so, so, so much. Love wins. This is a pride flag. You can't see it, it's invisible, but it's here in my heart. Any plans to release a single? Well, uh, so that album that you promised, funnily enough, where's the album? You guys, so is your album actually a thing or was that just a cruel practical joke? Do you have a boyfriend? Paige says, nickname me, Pag. Are you excited for VidCon? I'm super, super excited for VidCon. I have big things planned. Louise says, I dare you to use my name in a five second story. Once upon a time, there was a very, very sad girl with asthma. Her name was Lou. Wheeze. The final question comes from Jamie at Normal Troy on Twitter and she says Good night, ugly, poop, head, rat, fish, seal, potato, father, mess. Good night, Jamie. That is it for this week's video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to me. I make videos every week. I am lying. I don't, but I try my best. I love you all so much. Have a gay, happy day. And I will see you all next week. Bye! Fucking cool, sorry, I'm geeking out.